Hey guys, what's good with you? Your boy BQ back again. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. I'm really going to do my best through December. Whoever it is here at the channel, we're going to try to deliver that content uh, through December, through the rest of the year, because obviously there's the AW Impact talk going on. A lot of buzz, a lot of momentum, a lot of just big things going on. People are very excited about it. And the crazy thing is people on both sides are even excited about it. I mean, granted, there are some AEW fans upset about it, but, um, you know, that just shows what kind of wrestling fan that they are. But, um, you know, everyone seems really excited about this for the most part. And it's 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 good buzz for Impact. It's not like Slammiversary where there was buzz, but it also kind of fell into their lap and they, you know, did their best to capitalize. Like, this is something they actually, you know, put together or, or took a hand in. So came across this article. This is what I want to talk to you guys about today. It says the Young Bucks said they were hoping AEW could work with Impact two years ago. Now, this is really this caught me off guard. I'll put it like that, because although eight, the, the Bucks never really outright talked bad about TNA, you know, and every once in a while they might when they were still on Twitter, might tweet some, you know, generation me stuff or whatever. But, you know, for the most part. They bet on themselves and it really worked in their favor and it didn't things didn't like really work out with tna when they were doing the generation me thing they they wanted better for themselves you know I, I have heard them talk in interviews you know they thought they were capable of more capable of what impact was giving them a tna and uh you know they bet them on bet on themselves and they won and they became one of the most popular acts in the world and they really carried Ring of Honor for, for a while. I'm not a big Young Bucks fan. I'm not going to bullshit you. And even with them working with Impact now, I'm still not going to be like, oh, the Young Bucks. Because I, I tend to think for myself and I, I try my best to keep, you know, my same opinions. Uh, granted, opinions change, but I'm not a big Young Bucks fan. I just, I'm just not. So, sorry if you are, cool. But this is, this is something that I'm going to read what they said. It caught me off guard because I just didn't think they ever really genuine had interest in working with Impact. Now, when Hardy was around, they were gonna, you know, they they did have a plan in place where Hardy showed up on Ring of Honor, and then they were gonna come, the Bucks were gonna come on Impact, and that would have been big. Impact needed that big time at the time. So I'm gonna read what, um, let's see, I don't know who said this, <laughs> whether Matt or Nick Jackson, but uh, I'm gonna read it. it. Says two years ago, this is something we brought, but brought up and wanted to get going. For whatever reason, it didn't work out. I don't know if it was more on our side or what. We just couldn't get everyone to agree on what the creative would be. But when we were stopping at all the indie shows, that was one of the suggestions we had. What if we showed up in Impact? This is something we've been whispering in Tony Khan's ear for two years. We're all about collaboration and partnering with everyone and working together. Even with Ring of Honor, we got the Hardys to come in and when they were in with Impact. This is something we truly wanted to do for a very long time. Finally, the timing was right and we got it done. It's still so early and all of us collectively don't know what it means. We're still dipping our toes in it right now and we'll see what we get out of it. There are immediate plans that I can't give away right now. My dream, if I had it my way, is the possible dream matches. How can you not jump ahead in fantasy book? You also don't wanna to get too ahead of yourself. Are we gonna do that stuff? I'm not sure yet. We're still in the beginning of this but there are some big surprises coming and I'm really excited about it. So here's the, here's the thing I want to really hammer home about this. The young bucks are one are probably the most successful independent act in the history of pro wrestling of, of, of someone who didn't go to WWE. What they say to their fan base is like the gospel. And when they're excited about the possibilities with impact and the stars and the town over there, it's gonna bleed over into their fan base and create positive momentum towards Impact. And what I like is seeing a lot of these uh, wrestlers on both sides being excited about it, you know what I mean? Because what I see more often than not with Impact social media is that they they try to hype up these shows like, oh, uh, this show's stacked, but you don't see that same energy out of the wrestlers a lot of the time. I'm not going to say all the time, but there's more energy out of the Impact account than the actual wrestlers. But it's not like that with the other companies. You know, the other companies, the other wrestlers help create the momentum, build the buzz. And then the fans feed off that. 
You feel me? So, as I said, the, what the Bucks say is gospel, and that's going to be really positive for Impact, and it's going to help them a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So, thanks for swinging by. Once again, I'm your boy, BQ. We're going to keep delivering that content. Make sure you subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.